The filter method creates an array filled with all array elements of another array that pass a test provided as a function. Filter does not execute the function for array elements without values, and it does not change the original array. Here's the basic syntax of the filter method. First, we create a new variable to hold the new array. Then we refer to the array that we want to filter using dot filter. The filter method accepts a function callback, and that function has access to the current element, index, and the entire original array. In this example, we have some numbers. If our goal is to filter only the even numbers, we can set it up like this. Here we are only interested in the value. Then we are returning the value only if it is divisible by 2 with no remainder. In our new variable, we now have an array with only the even numbers. We can shorten this by using an arrow function. We can also shorten the variable from value to n since that would make sense. And instead of checking if it is equal to 0, we can instead check for false, since 0 would be equal to false and that is what we are looking for. A more common use case would be filtering objects. In this example, we have an array of objects containing all of the Star Wars movies. If we had a movie app or website, we would want to provide a way for our users to filter the items. So if we only want the most recent movies, we can filter it this way. For the variable, we'll call it L for element. Then we get the year and check to see if it is greater than or equal to 2015. Now we get only the three most recent Star Wars movies. This has been a 90 second JavaScript January.